Hello, Hoovians. Crispy Bro here. Yes, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for, for sticking around. Uh, yeah, it's good. So today we are talking about some New Year's Doctor Who special theories, predictions. Oh my gosh, what could happen? But first, I just need to tell you a story. I need to get this off my chest. So here we go. I'm sorry, but I feel like I need to document this moment in my life on my YouTube channel. So anyway, I'm just going to tell you a story. Um, yeah. So the other day, I was just I was just driving home from work, you know, listening to Maroon 5. Good vibes, good times. Um, and then all of a sudden, I hear this massive bang, my tire burst, and I, I skid off the road, I, luckily there were no cars, no one was harmed, and then I end up in the middle of, of the road in that in a little, like, the gully thing. So that was honestly one of these the scariest moments of my life, and I'm lucky to still be here, I'm lucky no one else was harmed, um, yeah, that, 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 that scared the crap out of me. Anyway, hours and hours later, I eventually make it home, and I'm a bit, bit shaken, a bit rattled from the whole experience, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna make make a, a Doctor Who video that, that'll put, put my mind at ease. And so I go here, go to turn on my computer, and then this thing just starts sizzling and smoking up. So, so that's great. Um, yeah, and I had to take it into the, the IT place to get it fixed. So that, that, was, that, was, a, that was a crazy day. But anyway, we're f the computer's fixed and we're gonna make this video. Sorry, I just had to get that off my chest, it was crazy, but anyway. On with the video. So basically, I have compiled three or four um, theories, predictions I have about um, the New Year's special resolution. And I just wanted to share them with you. I want to see your thoughts and all that, you know? That's, that's the whole point of making content. It's so weird that we don't have a Christmas special. But anyway, let's get into it. Theory number one. So this is a very obvious one and something a lot of people have already decided is true um, is that the Daleks are returning. Now if the trailer is any indication you really hope that was the case. Does it have a name? The Daleks. If it's anything else, I feel like the fandom will be disappointed and it will just hurt the show. If it for some reason isn't the Daleks, I do really hope it's some kind of classic foe, like it could be the Cybermen or, or the Zygons or something cool like that. If it's a new monster that, that Chris Chibnall has created, I feel like that that's, that trailer is just very, very misdirecting. Even if it's like something from series 11, like the Pating or Tim Shaw, you know, like, oh, I'm, I'll, I'll be done. I'll be, I'll be out of here. See you later. Have a good one, yeah? But alas, I really do hope the Daleks return. On to theory number two. Now this is something I've seen get a lot of buzz online actually, um, that, that the episode title is not just Resolution, but Resolution of the Daleks. Because throughout Doctor Who it's been a bit of a bit of a tradition to name your Dalek episodes something of the Daleks. So we've had like Planet of the Daleks, Genesis of the Daleks, Remembrance, Victory, Asylum, and maybe Resolution of the Daleks. The idea of a, a secret title actually really, really excites me. But if 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 the New Year's special has the same thing um, going that Series 11 did, where they have the title sequence right at the start of the episode, then surely if they showed the, the episode title before the actual thing had begun, that would just ruin that the Daleks are in it straight away. So hopefully they can bring back, you know, the, the, the bit at the start and then have the title sequence just a little bit further down than what they normally would. So the opening scene could reveal that the Daleks are in it and then, and then go into the title sequence saying, boom, resolution of the Daleks. Daleks. Wouldn't that be satisfying? But anyways, on to prediction number three. This one's a bit of a bit of a sad one, a bit of a controversial one, and one that no one really knows if it's gonna happen or not. Will a companion die this episode or, or leave the show? Now, as you all should know by now, the TARDIS team currently consists of three companions. We have Ryan, Yaz, and Graham. They have all been on the show now for at least one series, and um and in, in New Who, it is um it is a common trait that companions only stay for one season and maybe maybe come back a little bit later down the line, like Rose, Martha, Donna, not so much Amy Pond and uh, Clara, um, but Bill Potts as well. So does that mean that a companion is, is going to leave the show? Um, I remember seeing on Twitter a while ago that um, Bradley Walsh will be will be filming The Chase and everyone was like, wait, if he's filming The Chase, that means he's not filming Doctor Who. Does, it, does that mean he's left Doctor Who? But then Doctor Who was like, nah, we're not returning until 2020. So he probably has some time to film The Chase. I would be quite sad if, if Graham does leave the show because I feel like he, he had the most development. Like people know he had the most development, the most heart and the, the most connection 
with the audience. Um, so it would be devastating to see him go. I actually kind of wish that, that the Doctor's only companion this series was Graham and that, and that Ryan was just like a recurring character throughout it. Um, because that, that would have been awesome to see. Now, Ryan, if, if he's the one to go, uh, if he dies, I would love to see Graham's reaction. I feel like that could be a very, very strong scene in Doctor Who history. Just because that relationship is something they really did try and build throughout series 11, and it'd be awesome to see how that would play out in the end. And if Yaz died, I'm sure someone would care somewhere. Sorry, that's really harsh. I've got I've got nothing against Mandip Gill, but, but her character really, really hasn't had her moment yet. Um, so if, if she died, I feel like a lot of people would be like, Oh, that, that, that's a shame. Now you see, if they killed all three of them, if, if, if the Daleks killed all three of them in this one 60 minute time slot, that would be... Woo! Ay ay ay! Mamma mia! That would be huge, that would be massive, and I, I would love to see Jodie Whittaker's doctor's reaction to, to her, three, her three new besties just d d like dying. Dead. See you later. You're gone. Because I feel like throughout series 11, you know, we've seen a lot of Jodie Whittaker's comedic side and a lot of her bright, bright antics. Very Matt Smith, David Tennant. But we haven't really seen, seen that, seen that sad side. We haven't really seen that, that mad, that fury. And I feel like if, if her three besties died, we would see, see Jodie Whittaker's acting chops in, in full force. Now my last cliffhanger today might be an unpopular one because um, this will be the only episode we get in 2019 but if it does end on a cliffhanger it could be very very cool. I say that because I feel like it'd be really interesting for us to to ponder, to theorize and see if this will lead into series 12 in some way. It doesn't have to be a massive cliffhanger, it can be like almost like a, a post credit scene but not really after the credits. Um, like it could introduce a big bad from the next series or, or, or something cool like that. I feel like I'm saying that just because I'm a YouTuber because you know if, if there's a cliffhanger that'll definitely give me some content to talk about. For a whole damn year when there's no Doctor Who, um, you know, a, a little tease never hurt nobody. Quote, Crispy Pro. And that's it, we are done, end of video. You know, that was just a few predictions, a few theories about the, the New Year's special resolution of the Daleks. I'm really glad we don't know a lot about this episode because that's how I like to go into my Doctor Who, not knowing a damn thing and being surprised. But hey, do you guys have any theories, any predictions? Are you guys excited for the episode? Please let me know in the comments below. I wanna read them. Have I missed many? I feel like I only got four, so I feel like I missed a lot of theories. I might be out of the loop, please. Fill me in down below. Fill me in down below. I, I'm never saying that again. Please leave your theories in the comments. Thank you. But anyway, this is my last video for 2018. So, so thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll be back for, for a, a New Year's video. Um, just a bit of an update on the channel. A um, bit of a thank you. And then I'll be back, obviously, for my review of the New Year's Day special, Resolution of the Daleks. Have a great holidays, everyone. Stay safe, and I'll see you very, very soon. Allons-y!